What's up you guys? A question that I've actually been asked a lot recently is how do I stay motivated? How do I accomplish my goals? How can you accomplish your goals? Is there any advice that I have um, to give you guys tips that maybe I do that you guys could implement into your own life? Well, that's what this video is going to be all about. I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to share everything that's been working with me personally. So it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And whatever I say, I hope that there's at least one thing that there is something you can take with you. If there's more, that's great. Just take that one or two things that actually really sticks with you and honestly just leave everything else I say behind. So how do I accomplish my goals? Well, first off, everyone already has the big dream that they want, right? How they picture their life in five to ten years. So what I'm going to focus on is really accomplishing the little goals that you can do to get there. So what I would do is I would write down what are the big goals I want to accomplish for the whole year. You could have a lot of them, but really, really try to focus on the main ones you want to do. Then I break that down into months. On January 1st, I wrote, what do I want to accomplish this month? What part of this big goal can I get done in January? And I write all those down maybe two, three, four, five things max. You don't want to overwork yourself because some of you guys do work, some of you guys do go to school. So just focus on four to five things that may be a little challenging but have to be done. When you write something down, you can physically see your thoughts on paper. It helps a lot. Once you have all of your goals privately in your own notebook all to yourself, you have it down on paper and you can physically see it, I'm going to go on to the next thing, which if you guys haven't seen my other video, which was all about time management, maybe you're not someone that likes to plan out their day so by the hour, but if you do, I'll leave a link at the end of this video, and it's going to be all about how you can schedule your day literally by the time, and it's helped me become so much more productive. So that's step two for me is after I write down what I want to accomplish for the month, every night, for the next day, I write down by the hour when I want to wake up, what I want to do from 7 to 8, what I want to do from 8 to 9. And I try to add one of those goals, or at least a part of one of those goals I could get done during the day. Because when you create great habits, great daily routines, you tend to be more productive. When you win the morning, you tend to win the day. If you're not someone that really wants to stick hour to hour exactly what you have to do, you're more free flowing, I would say at least get a morning routine together. I'll make a video about my morning routine soon. Something that's gonna make you good and set for the rest of the day. Next, everybody knows that vision boards are a part of it, right? They always say make a vision board so you can wake up and look at it every day. It could be a little different for everybody, so if that works for you, then that's perfect. Frankly, for me, I do have a poster or two on my walls, and sometimes I even forget they're there. I used to have a vision board, and I honestly never looked at it because that's just not something I look at every day. But you know what I do look at every day? My phone. It's the first thing almost all of us do, right? We grab our phone. Well, not only do we grab our phone, but what's the first thing that pops up? It's our lock screen. But one thing I do is I have all of my goals for, let's say, March right now. Those are all my goals for March, right? And I pretty much use it as my screensaver. So at every moment of the day, whenever I pick up my phone, I will see all the goals and get my mind back on track. They're always on the back of your mind. That's what you really, really want also to accomplish your goals. If it's not on your mind 24 seven, you're probably not gonna accomplish it. You could even make a little mini vision board, but actually put it as your background right here instead of just writing down Put something in the drawer you always open, no matter what, when you wake up in the morning. Maybe the drawer you keep your toothbrush in so you always see it. Maybe you keep stuff on the mirror because you know you'll always be looking in the mirror when you do your makeup or just in the morning when you're getting dressed. And have those positive affirmations there as well as your goals. Number five, what really helps me is that I reevaluate myself at the end of every month. So there also was another video I made which was a habit calendar, maybe you guys have heard of that before, where you had your calendar and you pretty much color coded. So maybe yellow is for dancing, blue is for modeling, and so on. That way when I look at the calendar right away, if I see a yellow and a blue line in almost every box, that means I was doing good that month because obviously I was very consistent. If I see a lot of yellow but not enough blue, maybe I'm doing too much of one thing and not enough of the other. You can do this with your goals. You could use a check mark as you practice your Spanish today. 
and at the end of the month, check the calendar and it'll be an easy look if you see a lot of check marks. It means you've been practicing every day. If you haven't, you'll notice that over time, oh, maybe you have been skipping a lot more days than you think. Link to that video on how to make one will be in the description below. And lastly, this is a little bit of a big one. It is something that was one of the biggest things that helped me out, but I know a lot of people are not able to do this themselves. But number six is putting yourself in a predicament where you literally have no other choice but to grind and to work and to succeed. What I mean by this is that, yeah, a lot of people hate their jobs, but they still show up every day, right? Well, it's the same thing with me. I hate it. I don't like working a nine to five. I don't like someone else being in charge of me, having to be somewhere at a certain time, stocking the shelf for hours at a time. It's just, it's not something I'm passionate about. It's boring and it honestly depressed me. Now, if I really like needed the money, which I did for a while, which is why I stuck with these jobs for so long, and most of you guys are gonna feel the same way, then it's hard to just get up and quit. I realized that I was putting a lot of my dreams and my passions on the back burner. And I knew the only way that it would really push me and push me to do everything I gotta do was if I quit my job and put myself in the predicament where I'm not gonna know where my next paycheck is. That's pretty much what I did. And that's exactly what I needed. It really kicked me in the butt. When you have no other choice but to find your next paycheck, and you know at least this time it could be doing something that you love, you're gonna put a little bit more effort into it. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you could take at least one of those things and run with it, whether it's putting your goals and your visions on your phone and everywhere you look, whether it is quitting your job, if it has to be that drastic for you to really, really follow your dreams. And make sure you guys go check out the other videos either at the end of this video or down in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.